If you're still using Twitter or X, you can download this mod called Tweetfucker. <laughs> yes, that's the actual name. And it'll make Twitter a hundred times more usable. I mean, check this out. Once the mod is enabled, I can just long press on the X logo at the top and then a secret menu will pop up, letting me do a bunch of awesome new stuff. Like allowing me to remove all the ads, including those promoted tweets, suggested users, promoted trends, the video carousel within the explore page, and a lot more. Basically cleaning up the entire app of all that unnecessary junk. Now unfortunately, the developers have just announced last month that they're going to discontinue this mod due to some shameless plagiarism from another developer, but their latest version, which you can find on their Telegram channel, does still work on some of the more recent Twitter versions. More specifically, the 10.1 release on July 31st works really well with Tweetfucker. But if you like an alternative, then continue watching. Now for my Snapchat users, there's also a mod called Snap Enhance. When it's enabled, a new gear icon appears on the top right corner of the chat page, and when you press it, you'll be greeted with a bunch of crazy new features. Make sure your friends don't find out, but you can log all your messages so that nothing gets deleted, prevent anyone from knowing you've opened their snaps, and even stop your bitmoji from popping up within the chat even when you type, you can also remove the time limit for viewing snaps, block all the ads even when watching stories, download any stories or snaps without letting the other person know, disable the spotlight page, and a lot more. It's an extremely powerful mod, so make sure to use it responsibly and safely. But unfortunately, there is a string attached. Both Tweetfucker and Snap Enhance are exposed modules, which usually means you need to unlock your bootloader and boot your device to get these to work. But before you get mad at me, there is a workaround that not many people know about to get these modules working on any non-rooted device. Yup, I'm not joking. With an app called LS Patch, you can get almost any LS Post or X Post modules working on a non-rooted phone as long as it doesn't require root access. Luckily, some modules like Snap Enhance or Tweefucker don't need the Magis app to work, just the LS Post app. So for us non-rooted users, we're instead using LS Patch in its place. Toward the end of the video, I'll teach you how to get it working on your non-rooted device. And by the way, you should also consider modding your home screen with our new widgets and wallpapers. We just released these new ones that really make the home screen pop. And what makes our widgets stand out from the rest is that they're extremely customizable within the KWGT settings. No other widgets get as detailed as ours. Plus, we now make all our walls compatible with foldable phones. So if you have a Pixel Fold, Galaxy Z Fold, or any other expandable screen, we've got you covered. Only on our Patreon, link down below. And if you haven't caught on yet, I'm showing off some of the best modded apps that you can download on your Android in 2023. If you don't know, modded apps are essentially a reworked version of an original app with new and improved features. They allow you to do extra things that are usually restricted in the official version. And I know some of you are probably wondering if this is legal. It totally is. It just becomes illegal when you start getting paid features for free. And you must know that not every modded app is safe to use. Some could include malware or other dangerous code, especially if they're not on the Play Store and are closed source. Luckily, the modded apps I'm showing off in this video are trusted by the community. Many are open source and most have a Telegram or Discord channel to reach the developers or other active users for a completely transparent environment. So you have nothing to worry about. By the way, thanks so much for all the support in the last video. You guys showed so much love that I decided not to include a sponsor in this video once again. So if you're enjoying these sponsorless videos, a quick thumbs up will show me. Now one of the apps that gets modded the most is Google Chrome. There are just so many Chromium based browsers out there that it's hard to find the best modded version. For me, it used to be Bromite. I love that it kept all the familiar Google Chrome looks and basic features, but also removed all those unnecessary trackers and privacy and basic properties. It even added a few useful features of its own, like an ad blocking engine, supporting a lot more Chrome flags, allowing videos to play in the background when switching tabs, etc. The only problem is the developers have become inactive and the app hasn't received an update since last year. Luckily, a forked version of Bromite just got released called Chromite. Obviously, the similar name pretty much says it all, but you get all the same features that Bromite has and a few more. It has been updated to support the latest Chromium version, so you're getting all of the latest Google Chrome features. 
It's also way more privacy driven with a lot more patches done underneath the hood and a much more powerful ad blocker. It just got released last month and it's already one of the best browsers I've used yet. Can't wait to see how much better Chrome I get down the line. Instagram also has several mods, but my favorite has always been Instander. I mean, it just looks and feels exactly like the original Instagram app, but with many extra features. For example, it lets you block all the ads, enables you to download posts and stories, uh, turns off red receipts and live typing only on your end, lets you watch stories and live streams anonymously, improves the quality of all the content within the app, lets you enable monet theming, and even allows you to add an indicator in someone's profile to know if they're following you. There's a lot more where that came from. There's even an entire developer options page when you long press the home button. It's a well done mod. The only downside is that it's a closed source app. The only thing that makes it acceptable is the large number of people that have been using it for a while and haven't experienced any problems with their Instagram accounts or data. And they had multiple Telegram channels for open communication with other users and devs. But again, no guarantees are given when it's closed sourced. I mean, it couldn't be worse than what Facebook Meta already does with your data. I'm just saying. Speaking of Telegram, how about we get a modded version of that? I found two fantastic mods, Nicogram and NicoX. Both are really feature packed and each have several advantages over the other. I'd say NicoX does a way better job of letting you customize a ton more tiny little things like disabling the vibration, connecting to a public proxy and having a much more powerful translation tool. It's the perfect option for anyone who's been using Telegram for a while and has always wanted to tweak tiny little things here and there to improve the overall experience. Nicogram on the other hand is a bit more polished, it's on the Play Store, and it gets updated a lot faster. So you're getting the most up-to-date features of the official Telegram app. It's also a lot more organized. For example, even though both mods let you add custom emoji packs, Nicogram already provides unique sets to choose from, which doesn't force you to start searching the web for your own. And it even comes with its own exclusive advantages, like letting you change the double tap action for a chat, boosting the upload speed somehow, and more. So if you're not looking to get really extreme with customization, but still want some decent wiggle room, Nicogram is the better alternative. How about Discord? Well, there are also many modded versions out there, but the best one that is most up to date is Vendetta. Like most Discord modded apps, this one lets you customize the theme and install different plugins created by the community, a lot of which are really useful. You just join Vendetta's Discord page, and then when you switch to the plugins channel, you'll get a list of all the creations. Some of my favorites include favorite GIFs, which lets me save any GIFs that I come across to use later, compact mode to see a lot more messages in a single glance, and Spotify preview to get a 30 second preview of any song that people link within a conversation without leaving the app. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many more plugins that you can try out. Then if you switch to the themes channel, here you'll get a list of custom themes to spice things up. I personally love using Volcon because it themes both the dark and light themes really well. And to install a theme or plugin, you need to tap on a post, go to the first post message, then tap on the GitHub download link. It's usually the first link at the top. Then you'll get a pop-up to install it. Once you do, you can enable the theme or plugin by going to your account, scrolling down to plugins or themes, and in those menus, you can enable them. Some even give you settings to configure, so look carefully. Surprisingly, even the Play Store has modded apps. Sort of. They're more like open source alternatives, but they work the same way, letting you download the same apps except for paid ones. Two of the best are Aurora Store and APK Mirror. APK Mirror is a website, but it's really handy if you need to revert back to an older version of an app in case you're having problems with the latest release. And you can find almost any application on this website as long as it's free on the Play Store. It's also a very reliable source, trusted by many, so any apps you download here will be the official APKs. Aurora Store is a great alternative if you prefer to use an app. It's pretty straightforward to use since it's got that basic App Store layout. It also doesn't require you to sign into anything, but if you do sign in with your Google account, you can access your paid apps and install beta apps. You still can't buy apps though, but it's the closest you can get to replacing the Google Play Store without pirating anything. I even love that you can connect Shizuku to update or install any app seamlessly. 
If we dig even deeper into the world of third-party app stores, F-Droid is by far the most popular one. It's filled with millions of free open source apps, most of which you can't even find on the Play Store. And get this, there are even modded apps for F-Droid. Talk about layers upon layers. My favorite is Droidify, because it provides a material you theme and it has all the apps that F-Droid has. Hell, it even carries a ton of other repositories, letting you explore a whole new universe of apps. And for that cherry on top, it integrates Shizuku for seamless updates in the background. Okay, let's get to everyone's favorite, Revance Manager. It's by far one of the most powerful modded apps that you can install because it lets you modify almost any app out there, especially if you have root because it unlocks even more unique features. And by the way, if you were looking for an alternative to Tweefucker, this is it. The way it works is you hop into the Patcher tab, select any application you'd like to modify. For some, like TikTok or Reddit, you may need to download the APK off apkmirror.com because Revance Manager isn't able to handle split APKs unless you're rooted. Afterward, it'll show you all the different patches that will be implemented inside the app. Some apps have more patches than others, and each one has a unique set of patches, but usually it'll remove the ads, skip the login, and remove any annoying features. Once you're ready, just hit the patch button and it'll start the integration. Finally, Hit install, and then you can open the app with the freshly installed mods. It's that easy. Finally, let's talk about one of the best stock launchers on Android, the Pixel Launcher. It's loved by many, but there are still a few things that most of us would like to see changed. That's why there are so many modded alternatives out there for both rooted and non-rooted users. For non-rooted users, you need to switch to a third-party launcher that looks similar to the Pixel Launcher. That's the only choice you have if you want extra customization. And the best options out there are either Nova Launcher or Launcher 12. I already reviewed and even compared both launchers side by side, so if you want to learn more, I'll leave those videos in the cards. But if you're rooted with Magisk, you can instead turn to a mod called Pixel Launcher Extended. This module lets you update the look of the at a glance widget and even change the look of some of its alerts. You get many more grid options, it supports way more themed icons, lets you change the icon shape, brings down the app drawer search bar for easier use with one hand, and much more. Hell, it even lets you install a second app called Pixel Launcher Mods, which brings even more awesome changes, like letting you replace the at-a-glance widget and Google search bar with another widget. You can also hide apps in the app drawer, customize the background blur in the overview page, and more. Anyways, those are the best modded apps that you can download on your Android in 2023. As promised, let me show you how to enable LS Patch to get those exposed modules like Tweefucker or Snap Enhance properly working on your non-rooted device. First, download and install LS Patch. I'll link it down below along with all the other mods and apps that I mentioned. Then you'll need to enable LS Patch with the Shizuku app. If you're unsure how to do that, I'll link a video within the cards where I show off how to properly set it up. But once Shizuku is enabled within LS Patch, you must uninstall Twitter or Snapchat, depending on what mod you want to use. So if you want to use Tweefucker, uninstall your Twitter app, or if you're trying to use Snap Enhance, uninstall Snapchat. From there, download and install Tweefucker or Snap Enhance. Then download the latest stable version of the official Snapchat app off APK Mirror, but don't install it. For Twitter, you'd instead need to download an older version like 10.1 since Tweefucker is discontinued. Then once you download it, but don't install it, uh, open LS Patch and hit the plus icon. It's going to have you create a new folder in your directory, so do that and you can call it whatever. Then tap on use this folder, hit allow, and tap select APKs from storage. And then look for the Snapchat or Twitter file you downloaded from APK Mirror. It should be within your download folder. Once you select it, you'll be greeted by this page. In here, tap on portable, then select embed modules, and then select the mod that goes with your app. So if you're doing Snapchat, select Snap Enhance. Or if you're doing Twitter, pick Tweefucker. Then hit the check mark. Enable override version code if you like the option to downgrade the installation in the future. 
Then hit start patch. It'll integrate the mod inside the APK and once it's done, you can hit install. And that's it. You should now have the mods enabled within Snapchat or Twitter. You just need to log back into your accounts. And unfortunately, if you want to update either app in the future, you will need to repeat this process. So if you don't want to do that, make sure to disable auto update within the app's Play Store listing. And again, just to remind you, this process works with some other LS Post mods, but do this at your own risk. Anyways, click this video right here to see the best Android app series so that way you can get even more incredible apps. Thumbs up if you download at least one app from this entire list. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!